Well, I guess the question is, what's the future of education look like in Indiana? And right now it's very unclear when you look at it from the point of view of public education. Uh, this legislative session has a lot of bills in it that uh, are supposedly related to increasing funding for education, but uh, the vast majority of that increase in, in funding is targeted for full-day kindergarten, which schools received funding for last year, but now they're going to roll it into the budget, so they're counting that as new money. Uh, which is a little bit of a, of a stretch. And then the increase in, in vouchers for private schools, uh, for students attending private schools, that increase along with the total number of students that account for those voucher, that voucher money is also part of the increase in education funding. So what we end up with is an increase for public education after you pull away full-day kindergarten, you pull away um, the increase in funding for vouchers for private schools. Uh, it comes out to be a, a very small increase for public education. And what you see then is the backlash as a result, more and more school systems turning to referendums uh, to account for the $300 million per year for the last three years that were cut from public education when they were uh, driven to that due to the recession. So the recession's over, the state has a surplus of $2 billion, and instead of looking at recouping those concrete losses, they sort of disguise all that with how much the total increase is going to be for education. So public education is still way behind where we were three years ago. And schools are facing major cuts. Uh, a lot of other issues are out there in terms of um, watering down preparation for teachers, for administrators, and uh, when you look at all that together, you really have to question where the real commitment is to improving public education and providing the resources to raise the level of achievement for public school students.